Hi there, Karen with Ageless Beauty Pro, and today I'm going to talk to you about a few tips and tricks to using your mini microcurrent. Now, these are things you may know, you may not know, but I do get a lot of questions on using it in particular areas and how to do it, so I'm just going to cover those. Now, um, first of all, I want to tell you my little cheapy Walmart, uh, you know, electrical um power source just died and I don't have it so and I can't reach a plug with where I'm at so I'm going to show you how it works but it's not going to actually be working but I just wanted to let you know that's why it's not beeping. So um, the first thing that I'm going to cover is the lip area. Now when you do your mini treatment of course you want clean face, you want to use your good uh, conductive gel and you can put a little booster in that if you like and put that on your face and then mist very well. Uh, you want to keep that conductive gel moist during your treatment and it's going to work so much better for you. So when you start your treatment, I do like to go up the neck just a few times and kind of work myself all the way up the face just to get those muscles kind of being told what's what, where we're going. We're going up, okay? So I do that, then I start along the jawline and I really work to contour that, holding underneath the cheekbone and working myself all the way. And of course, I'm holding it for the time, you know, and I'm doing that as many times as I feel I need to. So I'm just showing you the quick way. Now, you can also use this. I don't like to use this all the way, you know, up all the time, but I do like to go along the face like this on the outer side because this works really well and gets in there. And again, I've talked about this before, these little probes that this particular device has work really well with fitting under the contours of your cheeks, which a lot of other devices don't. But you can see how it really holds on there and will go right under just and mimic more professional treatment. Okay, so working with the mouth, what you'd want to do, and after you've worked, you can work and come back and do the mouth, which is what I, I sometimes will start at the bottom and do the mouth and then work all the way up my face. Sometimes I'll start at the top and then come and work down and then give it a once over at the end working up. Um, but this works well when you start at the bottom and you do your jawline and then you kind of go around the mouth like this, okay? And that is going to help guide up the corners of your mouth, which tend to droop and fall as we age. So moving that around like that. Now, one very good way to hold this for this treatment is to grasp the corners of your lips, kind of take it in there, conduct and hold. And just let this work and you can do two or three rounds like this. You can also hold under your lip right there and this will help boost your lower lip a little bit. Of course, it's not going to give you like filler results, but it's going to help create that little bit of bottom lip spill that we that we want and do that several times. You can also do that by holding your probe like this. You can see that on the top of your lip. You can also do that on the sides here, on both sides, just like that, okay? So when you do this treatment, you should really work on your entire lip area if that's of concern to you. So again, hold it like this. You can make contact on underneath and then contact like that. Okay, and I find this works best when you hold it flat like that. Okay, then another thing you can do in this area, and this is good for lines, microcurrent is, is very good for actually um you can kind of iron out those lines a little bit if you've got very deep lines this isn't going to be as effective but if you've got some fine lines working in that area 
and I find this best holding it flat. At the end of my entire face treatment, I do what's called a feathering, and you just kind of run it along like this very quickly. And you can do this right up here. And again, if you have conductive gel on, your face is very moist, this is going to go very smoothly. Right now it's kind of grabbing, but you can go over your entire face with this. And I like to do my forehead lines all the way up here as well. And feather. Okay, so it's just called feathering. And you just do it very quickly back and forth. And that is going to leave, um, I've noticed by doing that, it really does help any of those fine lines that kind of form as well on my face. So that's the entire lip area. It's very quick. And again, if you just do it very consistently, you will see that you, you do start getting a little more of a defined area and a little bit of a lift on those corners. So if your mouth just naturally kind of is starting to turn down this is going to help turn it up now it's not you're not going to look like the joker or anything but this is going to just give you that subtle little lift that this machine is so famous for okay so eye area now with the eye area what you want to do is one thing that this will do is to really enliven and open up your eye say if you've had a late night or not a lot of sleep, or maybe one glass too many wine last night, whatever your, your deal is, um, you can use this probe all the way around your eye. I'll do this side, it's a little easier to see. And kind of go around very quickly, just very quickly on that bone. Okay, so you don't, you're not working in this area so much, you're working just beneath on that bone. So you start on this bone, you make contact, and you can go around slowly all the way. You can come up here, that center area, and all the way. Now I have very high eyebrows, and if you've got lower eyebrows, you know, you can do it right above or right below. Mine's pretty easy to see. So you can do that you can hold this all the way around. Again, you're not in that under eye area. You're just below it, making contact right on that bone and working around. And that's going to help plump up this area right here. That's um, often where we get our hollows. And by doing this, it really does help me from getting those hollows because that is one of my issues. I get hollows and dark circles. So I have to do this particularly. If it's not your issue, then you know you don't have to do it. But by doing this and doing it consistently, it really does help. And then also, you can feather. And especially on crow's feet, on the side here, lay your probes flat. Sometimes it's easier upside down. I like that. And you can feather and feather all the lines all the way around your eyes, okay? So, again, to enliven your eye and bring blood flow to your eye, which is what we're doing to wake it up, you go around really quickly with your probes. And you can do this like 10 times just to bring a lot of blood flow to that area. Then you want to make contact on that inner point right here. Follow your bone, where your bone is, not under your eye, your bone all the way up, okay? You can do that up here too. And then you can feather, okay? So those are a few areas of, or a few techniques that you can use with your mini, both in your you know, eye area and in your lip area to get some results with those wonderful little probes that this device has. So use those, you know, it's not just for your cheeks. You can use this in those other areas quite effectively. So I hope that was helpful to you. Again, you can put a little booster in your Neogenesis uh, Glide Gel or whatever conductive gel you use. I like that one. It seems to work really well. Um, you can mist with your Sculpless Spray or your Rose Water, whatever mist you're using. 
and um, make sure that your your gel stays very moist during your treatment and again just do your glide show your muscles where you want them to go work your particular areas right and um, then do your feathering and if you need to open up your eyes in the morning just grab that device and you can go around and it will help bring blood flow to your eyes and wake them up so thanks for watching um, comment uh, let me know what you think and go to my site at Ageless Beauty Pro and sign up. Um, I offer some good promo discounts and insider specials there, so be sure you're a subscriber. Thanks for watching.